Let's start this week's video with a quick game. Imagine you're the owner of a tattoo shop and want to create a page on your website to rank higher in Google for the keyword tattoo artist. The rule of the game is very simple. You're only allowed to choose one image for your page from the two I will be showing you. You have 10 seconds to pick the one you think looks more like a tattoo artist according to Google. And your 10 seconds starts right now. Before I give you the answer, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke Durand. I'm the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. If you subscribe today and click on the bell button right here before the end of this video, you will be notified when I publish a new tutorial. So, which image do you think is the winner? One or two? Not so obvious, right? Okay, let me put you out of your misery. If you've picked image number one, I can tell you we're wrong. Yes. The most relevant image for tattoo artists out of the two, according to Google, is actually image number two and the one you should add to your page. While to the naked eye, there doesn't seem to be a massive difference between the two, according to Google, there is. That's why it's important you choose your images very carefully before you publish them on your website as they will impact your rankings. You're probably thinking, how the hell do you know how Google decides what picture is more relevant? than the other. Don't worry, I will reveal to you in just a moment how to figure this out yourself so you can choose the right and most relevant images for your own web pages every time and without doing any guesswork. But before I do, it's important you understand how images impact your business visibility and rankings. As far as I remember, images have always been one of the elements Google looks at to score the relevance of a page and to rank it accordingly in search results. They even state on their Google Search Central websites that by adding more context around images, results can become much more useful, which can lead to higher quality traffic to your site. That's why optimizing your images should be part of your ongoing strategy when adding them to your pages. Surprisingly, a lot of you overlook this aspect. I audit a lot of websites and in 95% of cases, images are not properly optimized. This is a missed opportunity since optimizing images is totally under your control and easy to do. Let me run through the three most basic elements you should consider when optimizing your images. The first one being the weight of the images you use. As recommended in Google Search Central, you should optimize your images for speed. The heavier your images are, the longer it takes users to download your web pages. Since Google focuses a lot on user experience, a slow website is likely to rank lower than a fast one. So before loading any images on a page, make sure they are as light as possible without compromising their quality too much. To do this, you can use a free tool like this image compressor. Just load your images and it will automatically optimize them for you. You can reduce their weight further by playing with the quality toggle. Once you're happy with the results, you can download them. The other basic recommendation from Google Search Central is to name the image file something meaningful. For example, this image on my computer is called IMG1256. Changing it to bread making lessons will instantly provide Google with more clues when published on a bread making course page, for example. The last recommendation you must consider is to add descriptive alt text to each and every image on your site. Alt text stands for alternative text. It's a short written description you can add to an image. It can help people who can't see images on web pages, but will also, according to Google, provide information rich content that uses keywords appropriately and is in context of the content of the page. Every content management tool will give you the option to add alternative text to your images, like in this example for a WordPress website. Make sure you make the most of it. But this is old news and very basic SEO for those of you who are already implementing these recommendations religiously. Time to take it one step further and embrace the next generation of image optimization that will help you rank higher in Google in 2022. Google has spent a lot of time and money investing in tools such as their Vision AI, which is now able to understand fairly accurately the content of images. You can try this tool for free. Let me show you how this works with the example of a random image that I'm going to fetch from my computer. As you can see, the AI was able to quickly assess this was the picture of a dog and associate it with many other relevant labels. 
I personally think this is amazing, not just from a technology perspective, but also for marketing purposes, and more specifically, search engine optimization. How? By reverse engineering the results of this tool, you can truly optimize your images like nobody else does. Let me show you how. First, head over to Google and search for a keyword you are trying to rank for. Let's stick with the tattoo artist example. Then click on images. This will give you an idea about what type of images Google considers to be the most relevant for this keyword. Unsurprisingly, in this case, they are all very similar and involve a tattoo artist in the middle of a tattooing session. And this is your very first clue. If you are going to publish a page on your site, which includes images, check what Google deems to be most relevant first using the image search result option. Let's try another example and search for the keyword teeth whitening this time. Looking at the image results indicates that the best image choice for a page that talks about teeth whitening would be a before and after shot. Once you've identified the kind of images you need, just grab your camera and start shooting. Don't hesitate to take as many shots as possible using different angles. Once you've done that, head back to the Google Vision AI tool and check how Google understands the pictures you've taken. Let's run the test with the tattoo artist images I used for our game and load the first one. The tool can clearly see a glove as well as a hat, which is fair enough. Let's now examine the labels associated with the image. The first one is a hand with 96% accuracy, followed by a photograph at 94%, then an organ at 91%, which seems a bit random, a human at 90%, and in fifth position, tattoo artist at 88%, which I feel makes a lot of sense. Let's do the same thing with our second picture this time. The objects identified are a hat, a person, and allegedly an animal, which is the back of the tattoo machine. But since it's a little blurry, it's only 58% accurate, so we can ignore it. Remember, this is only artificial intelligence after all. Let's now have a look at the labels associated with this picture. And there you have it. The first label Google associates with this image with 94% confidence is a tattoo artist. And that is the reason why this is the best image for your page. So if you've picked this image during the game, congratulations. But I would assume this was based on a hunch rather than hard numbers. Not all your pictures will match exactly with the keywords you are targeting, so pick the ones that are closest. Over time, the use of images on the web has grown exponentially. With Vision AI, Google is able to read image content fairly accurately and will likely use this technology more and more in 2022 to rank websites. By using this method, you can feed the Google beast with what it wants and choose the most relevant images for your web pages without having to do any guesswork so you can stay ahead of your competitors. Remember, finding what type of images Google wants doesn't mean you should forget about all the other basic optimization recommendations. Optimize your images for speed. In this case, I was able to reduce the weight of this image by 83% from 988 kilobytes to 163. I changed the file name from IMG458789 to Tattoo Artist and added the following alt text, Tattoo Artist Tattooing Client's Arm. All these elements combined with how Google labels this image will definitely give you an edge on rankings in Google search results in 2022. That's it for today, guys. Don't neglect your images. Based on what I've seen, I feel they will play an increasing role in your content strategy next year. The good news is they are so easy to optimize, it would be a shame to miss out. Please like the video if you think it was good. Remember to subscribe if it was your first time here. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.